Hey guys and welcome to my Instagram live where I'm going to be going over really quickly how to make something really cute. This is uh, really good for brides and grooms who are having their weddings delayed or postponed and basically it is a bride and groom couples face mask. So for the groom, right? And then for the bride, which you can see right here, done with lace. Hi, thanks for joining. So together, they are a cute pair. And I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can make it. I'll basically be doing it briefly. If you guys show interest, then I'll make a more in-depth tutorial later on, but this is just to get you guys started. Um, so basically, my brides and grooms, they're recently, um, their weddings obviously are being either canceled or postponed, but then there are also some brides and grooms who are getting married anyways and they're just doing it just the two of them with a preacher or just the two of them with maybe one or two relatives and it's been a um a really cool way to see how everybody has been rallying around their family members to to support them in that because there are a lot of um unexpected um and sad consequences when um you know, the wedding day that you've been dreaming of for so many years has is not turning out exactly the way that you were expecting. So a lot of people are getting these, are making these for the bride and groom that they know who are currently um, having their wedding plans changed. So they're pretty easy to make and I'm gonna walk you through basically how you do it. Um, this is a, okay, a quick disclaimer is that these are not medical grade. These are um, purely for like a photo prop. Um, you know, they're made from just regular fabrics um, and they're not meant for use in the hospital. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn you around here so that you guys can see what it is that I am doing. So this is my workspace, which typically is not quite as neat as this. Um, but what you're gonna need are fabrics. And I recommend, if you don't have a ton of fabrics, um, you can actually um, use either um, like clothes that you have that you're not still wearing. Maybe they're old or they don't fit you anymore. You can even just cut those up and use those. Um, so here I have for the brides, I have some lace. This is a Chantilly lace. And I also have a pure white lace. And for the grooms, the two fabrics that I was using was like just a black and a plaid. And they're kind of cute on both sides. So basically what you would do, it's really easy. You need a nine by six piece of fabric. So nine inches in length by six inches in width. And you need that for two pieces of fabric. Um, one piece will be for the, um, for the uh, top layer and one will be for the backing. So I am going to show you how I do this. The other thing that you will need is, so you'll need the fabric. The other thing that you will need is some ribbon. Um, this will be, this is just for the decorative aspect of the, the groom's uh, mask. And I just made these out of ribbon that I have, but you can also use it just out of ribbon that you have in your gift pile. So what you'll do is you will put the fabric together both sides Oh, okay, I'm sorry, the other thing you need is elastic. You also need elastic. Um, or what I'm using here, for example, is a stretchy lace. Basically, you need something that has a little bit of stretch in it. And if you have that, then you're good to go. Um, so the first thing what you will do is you will cut those pieces of fabric, two uh, pieces of fabric, nine inches by six inches. And you're gonna cut for the women's 
mask, you are gonna cut the elastic 6.5 inches. 6.5 inches. And for the men's, you are going to cut it about seven inches. So 6.5 for the women's and seven inches for the men's. And sorry, let me adjust this so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, that should be better. All right. Can you guys see that? Okay, there we go. Now we're good. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the lace just on the inside and pin it to the top right corner, top bottom corner on both sides, the top corner and the bottom corner. And you see, I've done it with two, um, I've done it with two uh, just regular sewing pins and that's it. So then what you're gonna do is you're basically going to sandwich the fabric. So you're going to sandwich it by putting the other layer on top of it. And keep in mind that you're gonna be doing these fabrics so that the right sides are facing in. So uh, eventually we're gonna turn this inside out. So you don't want the right fabric, the right sides to be showing, um, to be facing outwards, they should be facing in. And what you'll do is you'll um, pin it all in place and you'll stitch around just the outside borders. And you'll stop with about, you just will keep about a one to two inch opening at the very top. So you can see I've done this in the grooms just so that you have a better idea as to um, what it looked like because this is different fabric and this fabric's a little bit easier to see. So you'll stitch it like that with about a two inch opening at the top. And then after you've done that, I recommend clipping the corners a little bit. So you see how I've trimmed these outside corners a little bit here, 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 and here, just so that when you turn it inside out, it's not too bulky. So after you have done that, you will then take it and you're gonna do it inside out. Basically, you'll take this little opening that you have, right? And you're going to flip it. Make sure you leave a wide enough gap because I've made that mistake before and then it's super duper tricky. And keep in mind, ah, I see I have an extra pin. I find that I leave pins in odd places around the house and around the studio. So then at the end, you'll just have it like that, right? Face mask. <laughs> yes, I see some people are saying they need to learn how to sew. So you do need a, you do need a sewing machine in order to do this. Um, you could hand stitch it, but that's not gonna be exactly, um, I mean, it'd be a little bit more time intensive, right? So um, after you have it turned inside out, then you're actually going to iron it, iron the edges so that it's totally flat all the ends and basically you're gonna wanna top stitch it all the way around. So around the edges just so that it's, you know, looking kind of nice and pretty as you can see here, right? So you top stitch it like that. And a fun little detail, it's basically good to go then, uh, but what I like to do is I like to add a couple of pleats. I don't know if you guys can see that gathering that's along the sides. Um, and that just kind of lets it lay a little bit flatter, look a little bit nicer. Um, you can see it on the white fabric maybe a little bit easier, right? And uh, that can be done really easily just when you're top stitching by basically you would take the fabric and as you're sewing along the outside edge, you would just every so often tuck it under like that. And you can do that in like three places or something. The funnest part is when you take the groom's face mask and you add on the, um, yeah, I see some people are liking the plaid. I like plaid too, <laughs> especially on guys, right? Um, 
So the funnest part is adding the decoration. So I just did a couple of little buttons that you can see um, and a bow that I made. Uh, the bows are pretty simple to make just out of any fabric that you have on hand. And that's it. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know and we can do like a more in-depth tutorial. I just wanted to get this out for right now. And I mean, okay, I know this is, let me turn you guys around. Sorry, I'm showing you like the whole studio. So I know that these are uncertain times, right? And this is all fun and games right now as you're, as you're playing this and, and, and we're trying to get some laughs, which are good. You need to laugh. Um, but I know that there are some people who also are really struggling during this period of time and who have loved ones who are not doing well economically, they might be struggling. Um, and I'm super aware of that. Um, so my brides and I, we actually have a prayer chain going on. So if you guys want prayer for anything, then let me know, send me a message, maybe not here, but send it to me via like, an Instagram message, something that's private, right? <laughs> and we can add you to the the prayer list that we have going on. And we've got a good list going on. Um, brides and grooms asking for prayer for many different circumstances, whether it's just their job or whether it's health or different family things that are going on because um, I, for one, um, strongly believe in the power of prayer. Uh, especially during a period of time like this when things are really uncertain. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, reach out and have fun with your face masks.